Hey guys, uh, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. Today we're talking about ZFS, in particular ZFS rights and the mystical 80% rule. Okay, so before we dive into this and the 80% rule of thumb, I just want to give you a little uh, context on how ZFS commits rights because it's a very it's uh, it's different than your uh, standard um, file system. So ZFS kind of is very uh, transactional in how it makes a write. It's almost more like a database than a streaming file system. And this way it's very atomic. When it commits a write, it commits the whole write. So um, one of the great parts of this is you avoid all kinds of uh, nasty stuff. Like if you pull power on it before it commits a write, it just loses that last little block, replays it from its uh, intent log, and recovers that way. So because of this, ZFS is an incredibly robust and redundant file system. Okay, so what is this ZFS? 80% rule of thumb. Well, if you've done any research on ZFS Online, or it even says it in the uh, Wikipedia page, uh, around 80%, the code will switch more from performance mode to power, or write space saving mode. And really what this means to the end user is what, or what is prescribed to most users, that your performance will start to fall off after 80%. So size your pool accordingly. So what I want to talk about is really where that cutoff point really is and give you a little bit of analogy of like, so you can understand what ZFS is doing. So the analogy I like to use when kind of telling someone how ZFS writes is you can kind of think of you're a teenager and you've got a really messy room and your mom comes in and she kicks the door and she looks at you and says, clean your friggin' room, man. And you're going, well, okay, fine. So you go to clean your room. So what do you do? Do you fold your clothes and put them away nicely? Nah, you crack that closet door open and you just start throwing stuff in right and then so within like two seconds you've got half your room cleared but now what happens is your closet's full and you've got still that corner of stuff to get in there so now you can't just keep throwing stuff into the closet you gotta have to go grab some things move some things around fit it into that corner fit it over there this is essentially what a zfs pool is doing when it writes while there's room it just bombs stuff in there once it starts to fill up, it's got to be a little careful on where it fits everything in. And this is this 80% cutoff that people are talking about, where this slowdown starts to happen. All right, so fun fact, uh, I guess this week more of a kind of practical fact. Um, this 80% rule of thumb is really more of a 90% rule. From our testing in our lab, we've gotten this as far as 94% full before we really saw any performance degradation at all. Um, in the field, We've seen it anywhere mixed between 88 to 90. So of course your mileage may vary, but really my point is, is that 80% that rule of thumb that you may see everywhere, you can push it a little further than that. Okay, so that's this week's tech tip. Hope you uh, learned something, hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, leave us questions or requests or anything in the comments below. Reach out on any of our social media. We love hearing from you. Uh, see you next week.